At the age of 16, Jackie Green became the youngest person globally to go through transgender surgery. Now, as a woman aged 19, Jackie has made history by becoming the first transgender Miss England finalist. Jackie, who was born Jack and spent her childhood attempting to convince her parents she had been born into the wrong body, said that she was aware from the beginning she was a girl. When she was just four years old, Jackie told her mother Susan that God had made a mistake and that she was supposed to have been a girl. At age 5, she was diagnosed with JID, gender identity disorder. Trapped in a body, she disliked. Jackie at first overdosed at 11 years old and attempted six more suicide attempts before she was 15. Knives had to be concealed away, and medicines were secured in a safe. She even threatened to mutilate her genitals. And so, at 16 years of age, Jackie became the youngest person globally to go through transgender surgery. According to the director of the Gender Identity Development Services at the Tavis Duke, Dr. Polly Carmichael, it has been noticed that sections in the brains of a few transgender people are the same structurally as the sex they feel they are. The doctor added that transgender people have extremely hard lives. One investigation in the U.S found that nearly half of transgender people have tried suicide, and they are two times as likely to be not employed as the rest of the people. Thanks to Jackie's amazingly helpful parents, hormone drug treatment was started on her at age 14, which meant that she never went through male puberty, she never developed masculine features and her voice never deepened. Based upon her previous rate of growth, medics projected she might have attained 6 feet 4 inches, and at present she stands at 6 feet. Though medicines are only effectual if taken from the initial symptoms of puberty, until lately, they were not sanctioned for use in those below 16 years of age. Currently, the Travis Duck, in partnership with University College London, is performing experiments into such treatment in kids from 12 years of age. At 8 years of age, Jackie sent an email to everybody in her primary school saying that she was a girl trapped in a boy's body. Afterward, she began going to school donned as a girl. She was heartlessly intimidated and took an overdose. Fearing her suicide attempts may succeed, Susan got enrolled her at a specialist inclusive learning center for kids with health issues. With NHS medics not being able to prescribe drugs for delaying puberty or blockers as they are recognized, Susan came across a US-based expert in gender dysphoria Dr. Norman Spack, through online. JID is diagnosed if a youngster exhibits a number of attributes behaviors, which include often stating the wish to be, or maintaining he or she is, the opposite sex. Most pertinently, a lot of kids with JID become more and more distraught, to the point of despair as they grow old, especially nearing puberty. Suali, they express hatred at their genitalia. Facts suggest that four in five prepubertal kids diagnosed with JID do not continue to experience the condition later in life. Of those who meet JID requirement at puberty, one in five become pleased in the gender they were born. Many children initially diagnosed with JID became homosexuals. Dr. Spack acknowledges that when young people stop their puberty and take cross hormones for some years, they are most likely to be infertile. After gender reassignment, puberty delaying drugs are no longer required, though transgender people should take cross hormones their entire life. Susan took Jackie for treatment to Boston every six months until she had her surgery at 16. Jackie's treatment and trips to America over three years cost $25,000, which, along with the $22,000 gender reassignment surgery, meant Susan had to use her home equity to pay for it. Susan came across a surgeon in Thailand willing to perform the procedure when Jackie was 16. 18 months of deliberations with the surgeon followed, and on her 16th birthday, she went through surgery that lasted seven hours. Jackie was practically bedridden for the first five days. For the next three weeks, she remained in a hotel near the hospital, with nurses visiting her two times every day. Jackie went back to Thailand when she was 18 for breast augmentation surgery for $3,300. Soon after her surgery, Jackie entered Miss England and reached the semi-finals. 
She has set her mind to participate again next year.